Hello friends, I'm Winston with a video on how to grow curly locks. In case you don't know, curly locks is an epiphyllum which curls and curls as it grows. It does produce flowers and fruits in the normal way, but its characteristics are it is slightly different from the everyday epiphyllum. Look at the epiphyllum. Straightforward, normal flowers, curly locks are slightly different. Have a look at the video. Yes, you can see the tendency. For some reason, the cristate tendency takes place when growing curly locks. It flowers in the normal way and it's important to remember that it is night flowering. So if like me you keep it growing in the greenhouse, do remember to bring it indoors. I keep mine in my regular greenhouse. So for this occasion, I had to bring it in to my side room to make sure I get the flowers and later to watch the fruits develop. Today we are going to look at the fruits, cut it midsection and get some of the seeds out and show you how I propagate. So there's a cutting with one of the fruits. And generally speaking, you can also grow curly lugs from cuttings in the normal way. The first bit, therefore, is to split the fruit and it will reveal the seeds. The seeds are very straightforward, much smaller than cactus seeds. And therefore, it's important you spread them out on a piece of tissue or regular hard card in order to make sure you get rid of the sticky pulp that usually accompanies. Another way of doing it is also to put it in water and swirl it around and eventually dry it again on tissue paper. The best way of growing epiphyllum seeds are in regular cactus soil. There you see one tiny seed that has sprouted. I'm not suggesting you do it one at a time. In fact, I'm suggesting you put them in a big pot and grow eight or 10 or even 12 of them together, just like I'm doing in this part. The next stage is, of course, repotting. Once they've grown large enough and in such a way that they need to be separated in their own individual pots. So I've chosen four pots for them, and here we go. Place them gently into the individual pots first, and then later make sure you firm around with a mixture of perlite and maybe peat or multipurpose soil. There must be some elements of grit in order to make sure the plants do reasonably well. There you are. Four young curly locks ready to go out into the world and produce the flowers and the fruits just like their parents did.
Thanks for watching. You can grow this farm very easily. Even if you're in a temperate climate, you can keep it warm. I would say up to about 10 centigrade or 50 degrees, and you should be fine. Thank you.